Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. You can do it. We've got a lot going on here. We've got the word product, right? We've got to think, okay, that means multiply. So here we're multiplying these numbers. And scientific notation, they're asking for a specific format to write this answer in when we multiply these two numbers. And they're also mentioning this E notation here. So there's three things to think about just within the question itself. So first of all, Let's talk about the fact that these two numbers are huge, right? We have this huge positive number. What is this number? Well, we have the thousands places here, millions, billions, and trillions. This number is three trillion. And then we have this negative number here, which is also hugely negative, right? And 10 to the 10th, if you want to think about where that would be in terms of place value, well, million is 10 to the 6th, right? Million is 10 to the 6th. And then billion is three powers higher. This is one billion, right, 10 to the ninth. So 10 to the tenth would then have to be 10 billion. Right, we're talking about one power of 10 there. The names millions, billions, and then trillions, if you're curious, would be here. 10 to the twelfth, they're jumping up every three powers of 10. That's trillion. So we can notice, wow, these numbers are really, really huge in two different ways. How am I going to deal with that? Well, it turns out that the fact that they want this answer in scientific notation, scientific notation, I'll write SN, that's where we're multiplying two numbers, A times, let's say, a power of 10, right, where B is the exponent. And the rules of scientific notation are that the absolute value of this number has to be larger than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and the exponent can basically be any integer. And I'll write that in a fancy way. B is an element of the integers. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers, including zero. Now here with A, we're just saying this number has got to be between 1 and 10. It could be 1, it can't be 10, and it can be positive or negative. That's why the absolute value is there. So to reach scientific notation, we should think about powers of 10. Fortunately, that actually makes this problem a lot easier. If we rewrite 3 trillion over here, right, millions, billion, trillion, we get what? We get 3 times 10 to the power of three places, six places, nine places, twelve places, All right? This is three times ten to the twelfth. And we established that before, right? Ten to the twelfth is trillions. And we're multiplying that by negative 1.5 times ten to the tenth. And this really helps us. How does it help us? Well, since we're writing things in powers of ten, we can use our laws of exponents. First, we can commute the numbers around or change the order. So we have three times negative 1.5, I'm going to associate those two together, and then multiply that by the two powers of 10. 10 to the 10th times 10 to the 12th. Now we're getting somewhere, right? 10 to the 10th times 10 to the 12th, that's 22 tens altogether. So it's 10 to the 22nd power, a huge number. Now, 3 times negative 1.5, a positive and negative multiplied to a negative result, and I just think, well, what's three times one and a half? Well, that's one three and a half of a three, which is 1.5. So one three three and a half of a three, 1.5, makes 4.5. And here that's just negative. So this all together becomes negative 4.5 times 10 to the 